My DNA is not in the system because I've never been arrested. I haven't get, gotten caught. It's because I cut my fingertips off. That'll yeah, be good or not? You bet. Right. Yeah. Well, the I problem just, is I can't feel. I wear, I wear the fingertips of my victims. <laughs> it's just a the thing is, is they're really, they're really, they have really small hands. So I gotta gloves. have like, I have, yeah. I make gloves like, my glove need, like, action three finger. Three fingertips for each <laughs> finger. That's a lot. Yeah. All, All right. Good. Welcome, welcome. Fashionably late to my. To my own podcast. Chirp, chirp. Are we starting? I think we already started. Oh. This is a test mm. run. We got well, it. welcome to the Cardinal's Nest. I'm Steve Cardinal, and today I'm with some very special guests. I have in front of me Joe Nash, the writer and director of Space Dog and Space Dog 2, Never Bark Down. Good to have you here, Joe. Hi. Next to Joe, we have Ty Scott, who also, oh. he's in Space Dog and Space Dog 2. He plays the villain in both. What are the villain's names? I keep forgetting. The Zorb. I'm going to go with Bongo Boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, good to have you here. Good to have you here. I was very happy to be a part of Space Dog and all its success. Thank you for having me. What a great it, series. It, it was a something. It was something. And to my right, we have the one, the only, Jeff Mahoney, a.k.a. Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid in real life. I'm Prince Eric. <laughs> I, st I don't have a spit bucket yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody get this Wait, do you a need a spit bucket? bucket? There's well, a I mean, crockpot over there. Grab one of those. Well, I'm, I can just go in my... I'm looking around for something uh, you could use. I'll, I'll finish pot. this cup and then spit in it. Ooh. That's my favorite cup. <laughs> well, now it's my spit cup. <laughs> you guys like my uh, <laughs> my wooden curtains? No. It's fantastic. Yes, Thank me. you very much. I mean, yes. They're great. You got to pay top dollar for stuff like that. And what kind of wood is this? Mahogany? Mm. I think it's more of like a... You think, that was a, you think that intro was good or should I do it again? Try to do it one more. Yeah, then if you don't like it, you can always go with whichever one. Fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> in this corner, waiting. <laughs> don't look at me when I'm podcasting, you guys. I'm nervous. All right, just Nobody look at anybody the whole natural, time. Let, let it happen. Find something <laughs> in the room and focus Ty, on it. Ty, stop looking now. at me. I'm podcasting over here. <laughs> we got to giggle. Hi, I'm Welcome Steve Carter. Hey, I was doing my intro and you were trying to talk over me. Yeah, Sorry. fucker. <laughs> Nobody look or listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> just... Start we can always just like talk and shit. Then you can always do the intros at the end or something. Well, it feels I just do the intros now. Let's just do them. Get them out of the way. We're gonna do the intros. Let's make it organic. We'll just yeah, go right into like, it. Uh, you don't have to give us a grant. Well, this is a, this is the first like, podcast. I want to make sure everyone's introduced for the first podcast. You know, we'll introduce ourselves through. This our could be the whole intro right here. Just us that. arguing. No, this <laughs> is this is the intro right here. All right, let's. Well, let's get this. Just to start things off, I think there should be a death penalty for people that talk and use their phones at the movie theater. You mean there isn't? There needs to be. I know the Cardinal Law is the director of Guardians of the Galaxy made a tweet or something saying how there should be um, jail time for people that talk during the movie. You blame them? And jail time should already be a thing, but there should be a death penalty. I can't believe that. Yeah, I can't believe that's not a thing already. They, at the very least, they need to cut off a finger for each time you talk. <laughs> well, or who's, who's or come out and smash your phone right in front of you, like step on it right mm -hmm. then and there. But who's doing this? Who's doing the smashing and the cutting of the, the fingers? Guy takes the tickets. Yeah. Once you I'm, give him that ticket, you're signing see, away your life. You realize in this day and age how painful it is to lose a phone. It's almost like losing a finger if you think about it. There really is just no way to stop people from talking or using their phone. But I think it doesn't hurt to bring awareness to it, right? Mm-hmm. Just to highlight how much those people suck. They do. I mean, you pay. You pay, and it's not even cheap to go to movies anymore. I mean, you think about it, you pay for your ticket and your concessions. What are you up to? Almost 30 bucks. If you treat well, yourself nicely that day. The average... Oh, I always treat myself nicely when yeah. I go to the movies. The oh. average movie... Okay, let's say the movie ticket costs 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then let's say you get a popcorn, which is five, six bucks. And let's just say everything... Easily. Popcorn, Coke, and the movie ticket is like easily 20 bucks. Yeah. And then if you're feeling crazy and you get a snack, like a bag of M&Ms or something, yeah, that, that could something. put you to 25 maybe. You know, yeah. Maybe you get two snacks. for maybe You get that, worth... that mid-movie craving. You, you need something uh, like sweet to go after that salty. So, yeah. Add the hooker into the deal and it's like five bucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, fact, yeah, factor all that money and then factor, like, just imagine, you know, you're watching a movie. You pay 30 bucks to be there. And let's say the movie's really good and then someone starts talking. 
someone starts talking and ruining the whole experience. Can I play devil's advocate right now? Yeah. I think, I mean, it's annoying when people talk during the movie, of course, but it does give you an excuse to lash out, to get some aggression out of you and <laughs> scream at someone, <laughs> yell at them, and then you're in a complete, you're completely justified in how you yeah. do that because no one likes people who talk during the movies, and if someone's talking during the movie, I can yeah, it's true. yell and throw some upset Especially upset if it's an action, action movie. Oh. Yeah. Cause then it's like you know you're getting no, live I, action action. I agree, but when I've done that, like when it, when you tell someone to sh or shut up, it like it weighs on me. Like let's say they're behind yeah. me, I go well, sh or three, shut up. They get three chances. I uh, I let one go. Yep. That's strike one, strike two, and then strike three is uh, I give them a very angry. But please speaking. be quiet. But when you say please very be quiet or shut up, do you feel like? You know, you feel good afterwards if they shut up, or do you feel like it doesn't it weigh on you a little bit? It takes you out of the movie because here you are enjoying this movie, and then you got to go out of the movie to say, "Hey, shut up!" And then they're looking at you like you're the bad guy. You know? I want to just butt in for a second. First person to ever lash out in a movie theater about someone talking and making or just being disruptive was with this guy right here. I kid you not. I've never been in a movie theater and, went and seen someone turn around and say, "Hey, shut up!" <laughs> <laughs> you want, what movie was that? I dude, it was probably 5 6 years ago, but I just remember he turned around and you're like, "Hey, shut up!" <laughs> was that the only time that I've done no, that? No, it's been a, it's been a few times. Well, but I I, I can tell how many movies we've seen together. I can uh, usually a tell lot. When, I can tell when Steve gets agitated like it just as like body language before he even speaks, I His can dick tell. Goes soft. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> what are some movies you guys have seen in theaters recently? Um, shit. This is gonna be good. I'm I'm waiting for this one. Yeah, no, seriously. I think the last one I saw was probably Kong. Really? Oh, really? Oh no, it was Alien Covenant. Because we've oh, seen wow. we've seen a good handful of movies together, yeah. right? That was back when I used to go to movies all the time, though. You stopped that going was... to the movies? Pretty much. I see like one or two movies a year now. Is it because people kept talking, or you just? Eh, it's it's a mix. It's a mix of the people always talk. It's just rude. It's a lot of money spent there. The yeah. Plus, the just a lot of movies nowadays I'm just not interested in. So you said it was Kong and Alien Covenant? Yeah, those are the last two movies I saw. How about you, Joe? What, is, what have you seen? Uh, the last few movie experiences have been really bad. and That have actually shut me off to going to theaters. I just, when, if I'm going to see a movie, I just figure like I'll just wait and see it when it comes out online. Or But no. sometimes, like imagine, like could you hold off from seeing Mad Max? Uh, no, but... That's what I'm saying. Some of those movies come around where you can't wait. Some movies you can't wait. It's not worth, like, the rush yeah. to go see it. But sometimes you have to go... Well, I won't, I won't see it opening night. Yeah, you got to skip the opening night. Yeah, I can no longer go opening night. Matinees. That's what we used to do. Like, every yeah, time we used the movie to... came out, oh, yeah. we go opening yeah. night. I definitely... I, I avoid releases now. I avoid, like, the first day it comes out because it's just... That's when all, everyone rushes out to go see it. People are just so rude. I hate it. I actually usually go during the day, if anything, just because... Matinees, yes. Yeah, that is, as few I never, as, never was a fan of matinees until like the last couple of years just because it's it's more peaceful it's cheaper and you not get out and it's like it, the, the days the day's not over when you get out you can still i mean sometimes you can see two movies if yeah. you're crazy enough you are right however i've had some really bad movie experiences during a matinee show i think it all depends on the location you're in as well True. like when I, when I was in yeah. marine del rey um i think you guys went remember when you guys came to visit we went to that dining movie theater yeah. down the street yep. did we I can't, we i'm trying to think for the dark world okay no it was I don't know. It was that theater. Like, it just depends on your location. But even like going during the day, you can get some really noisy people as well. Yeah. The thing is, like during the day, a lot of kids are in school, so you don't ever have to put up with kids unless it's during the summer. Movies I've seen recently, a movie that I saw that I highly recommend to all you guys and all the listeners and people watching, I highly recommend Brigsby Bear. Ah, you stole mine because you didn't even get to me. <laughs> oh shit! Say, that was well, what I was gonna say. I was I was going around. I was going around. Yeah. Wait, wait, no, it's your, you're good. Keep going. <laughs> the Bear. No, Bear. <laughs> no, Bre no, no, we, we, I'll, I'll we, we saw it do. together. We, okay, go ahead. You go. No, first. no, take it from there. Okay. I, 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 so that movie, I remember seeing the preview a while ago in theaters and I said okay it's an indie movie it's probably good you know it's probably got a certain audience whatever I'll probably never get around to seeing it and Steve is actually like my go to movie guy like I always I always message him like every week what's the good movie to see this week he's, he's my movie drug dealer yeah that's right I'm gonna hook me up it's with a, the good stuff it's a very healthy I'm, I'm the inspirational you yeah. know movie drug dealer he's a movie drug dealer I'm, if you are name. if you want to feel good you know, you my want dealer my movie dealer if you want to leave the theater with good vibes I'll he, tell you a good movie. Steve sold me some Brigsby the other day. It was great. How many was, bags of popcorn do you give it? I uh, give it well, five AMC full bags large. of popcorn. Oh, yeah. AMC <laughs> large. <laughs> the, like They keep upgrading their sizes at no, AMC. No, no, no. We had a regular, like, and it was like, we each had a regular, and it was like dude, that so big. so gives me the shits. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the small is the large now. Mm -hmm. It's weird. They keep up. Everyone just keeps growing. From like the early 2000s <laughs> when we were kids and that theater opened up, that used to be the size of the large. Wait, popcorn gives you the shits? 
The oil. It's the oil. Gives me yeah. the shit. It's the oil. I, I have mean. a messed up system. Joe, oh. you scarf your popcorn down quick. I like to eat. But don't you don't like saving? I remember whenever you go to the theater, like during the previews or trailers, you'll be scarfing it down. I want to get it out of the way because when the movie starts, I don't want to focus on See, sleeping, I'm the opposite. You know, eating. I'm I, the I opposite. want to focus on the movie. Yeah, I'm the opposite. Yeah. Like I want, I can sit through the trailers and try to kind of resist, but when the movie starts, I want to get like in that pure like euphoria. Like I gotta have it, everything's be perfect. The and movie's you're gonna be going. On, on the I'm popcorn, eating. Not no, the movie. it's it's you don't like get a full experience. Like I know, I dude. It's, <laughs> I'm already. Filled I'm focused. That's why. It's how focused I am on the movie. I wait <laughs> when the lights go on. I got popcorn all over my fucking lap. I think I should make more coffee. I think so too. Can I have some? Can, can we go back to the last movie experience I saw in theaters? Joe, what's on your mind? Well, I saw a movie in the theaters and someone was talking, so I told him to stop. He smacked him with the newspaper. No, nope. stop. That was all. You said stop. Yeah. I was a while ago. You said how someone was using their phone right in front of you. Like what? What oh, was when it? When I saw Civil War, um, so there was these three girls behind me, and they talked the entire movie. And I told them to stop twice. And please, you know, it's nice. Can you please be quiet? Please be quiet. Was it opening day? And eventually, I turned around. And I said, "Hey, can you shut the fuck up?" And then they stopped talking. Their dad was next to them, and I nodded at him, and he didn't do anything. So I think he agreed with me. And then, <laughs> like a few minutes later, there was a mom. Uh, the Roll in front of me, and she starts looking up something on her phone. She plays like something on YouTube, and I say, "Excuse me, miss. Like, there's a there's a movie going on." She's like, "Oh, I didn't know." Like, how do you <laughs> wow. the movie, movie screen movies. that's in front of you? You didn't realize there was a movie going on. Wow. I'd rather you say, man. I'd rather her tell me to to shut up. Yeah. Like shut I, up. Yeah. See, there's I, no I can way you can want. deny. It. It's oh, like I, okay, I can at least I don't respect that, but at least you're being honest. But don't play coy with yeah. me. Oh, I don't please, know how I got lady. here. I just kind of walked in. What a, what a bitch. I feel like we should segue into. Those damn flashing lights on the phone. Never, oh my! Never, never Are you talking when you get a text? Way. Yes. Oh you man! You know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh man! From That's... experience. <laughs> oh no! Oh, like when the texts yeah. go off. Yes. Yeah, put the phone on your lap with the the camera side facing up. If okay, if you're going to a movie and you're expecting some important text message. Don't go to a movie. There was Let a, alone have that feature set. To me, that's just common sense. Like, you know when you go into the movie, not to make a scene or not be distracting towards other people. You're going to watch a show, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like it all comes down to, like, parents need to hit their kids more, a lot more, and teach them and beat this into them. Don't don't <laughs> beat don't be distracting. Don't There's, talk to I agree. movies. <laughs> it, 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 you know, I wasn't upset. But now I'm thinking about. It, I'm putting myself in the moment. I'm just, and I am upset. See, no, I'm no. I'm trying to get there it's with you because there's times where I leave a th exactly. Exactly. There's times where I leave a theater. And I'm so upset. I'm like genuinely very upset. And as of now, I haven't had that movie like a movie experience that was bad recently. So I don't have that same like energy. You've turned down some movies just because you didn't want to deal with stuff like that. Yeah, depending on what day you want to go to the movie, yeah. I'll say no. Like it's this time or it's yeah. this day. We can't go. So yeah. I'll, I try to avoid it at all costs, but. I haven't, yeah, so I think because I've been avoiding it so much, I haven't ran into like it recently. It's kind of off limits for you now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Weekends are off limits. Matinee sometimes, depending on the location, the theater, I yeah. can go, you know, to an earlier show. Like anxiety when, because you, because every time I go to the movie theater, I know at some point I have to tell someone to be quiet yeah. because yeah. it's been a consistent problem like the last four times. Oh, yeah. No, it, the theater, you just kind of want to avoid having to deal so with So it's like that, yeah. when someone starts talking, I just get that build up's like, it, I'll give them, like, I'll let them talk a few more times and then I'm going to say something. Mm -hmm. But it's like just, it takes me out of the movie. Then I'm like, okay, now I'm thinking about being fair to this person who's talking. Give them up, give them like three, uh, my three strike rule. But yeah. but but like that ruins it for me. Yeah, now, it I'm weighs on you. Yeah. The next time they open their fucking mouths or they have their phones, it's just. I've had teenagers like a row of they're all like buddies and whole time I don't remember who it was. It might have been with you. I don't think it was because I remember the theater. I don't think we've ever been to, but. They were literally talking like the whole movie, just laughing, making comments for everything. The whole entire movie it was so annoying. That's how it was for at Alien Covenant. Like I was, went with Neil and Nathan. We're just sitting there. The movie started. It's like about a quarter of the way in, and everyone's just talking, talking, talking. And got to a point where I just literally said, "Shut the fuck up!" The movie's going. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, you yelled that out. Yeah, hell then, yeah, then dude. Then they're like, "What's wrong?" I, I want to give you a cheers for that. Oh, you got to tell the bastards to shut up. <laughs> Joe, do you mind leaning in a little closer to the... Well, you don't got to get too close. Oh, you you can pull it clo closer to you, because I just want to make sure I don't turn your game up too much, you know? All right. Um, but well, I was going to say something. I lost my train of thought. Shit. Not movies or coffee? No, because <laughs> you you were saying how can people... Are... What? Can I burp? Yeah. <laughs> do I have to... Can I look away, or do I... I think he's got to burp in the mic, right? <laughs> oh. I just got to get it out. Because, no, uh, you were saying how... Uh, 
how people were like was it comedy or people were repeating the lines back in the comedy or no they were just ca- like they're almost like having their own commentary like just every time something happened they just start laughing talking they'll, yeah they'll themselves. have their own comment they'll explain the scene yeah it was yeah, like, like mystery science theater and they'll yeah, like, yeah, try exactly. it was like it's like shut the fuck first one, yeah oh, one of that. the worst things funny. ever is going to see a great movie that's being re-released in theaters went to go see terminator that one time Oh man! Love that movie. And there was one time where someone actually said something that actually was genuinely funny. Was he getting up to get candy? He's like, "I'll be back." No, it's the oh. part where uh, Arnold's walking, his dong's hanging out, walking yeah. around, and uh, Bill Paxton goes, "Anything wrong with this picture?" And then uh, this one lady just screamed out, "Nope, nothing wrong there." I mean, <laughs> that actually made me laugh. But I, that is pretty I good. I saw nice. Cowboy Bebop, uh, yeah. the movie at the same theater. They're yeah. reshowing it recently, and uh, I, I walked out. It's the first time I walked Seriously? out in the theater because people would not shut the fuck up. Because, like, everyone's trying to be super clever and just repeating the lines. Oh, sorry. Re- Go ahead. Oh, shit. I, thought, I want you to speak into the mic. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. You're people, pulling Ricky Bobby, think, right? I, now. I, I, I never <laughs> saw the movie. Just pull, just pull a little closer, Joe. <laughs> a little closer. I, I, my hand? Yeah. I never saw Cowboy Bebop, and it's um. It's a good movie. Well, I, I couldn't enjoy it for two reasons, three reasons. The first reason was they or, they chose to play the sub it instead of the dub, and it's Cowboy Bebop. If you know Cowboy Bebop, you know that the English dub is better than the Japanese uh, voices, but... So they played that, and I had this really tall guy in front of me, and his head was blocking the subtitle, so I had to constantly move my head back and forth. Mm. And uh, and then behind me, there is these guys coding everything and uh, singing, singing, it's, and and then commentating over something happened, something clever leaning over, and but loud enough so everyone else could hear. This is getting me upset. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's the one time I actually didn't say anything. I just I was so angry, and also the the, the <laughs> it was so hot in there. Very hot. I was sweaty that's, that's and angry, theater, and I just got up and left. That's a theater where it's all one level, right? The whole thing is one level. Oh, what yeah. kind of theater is that? It's um, the Royal Oak Theater. Yeah, oh, Royal really? Oak Art Theater. Wow, and it's one level. It's not too bad. It Jeez. actually works really well because it's like at a slow. But if someone's oh. in front of you and you're trying to get around that person, yeah. that's that that's sucks. the thing. If you, but yeah, like he's saying, like the subtitles, like you gotta, yeah, can't even. Usually they're supposed to be like a foot below you. And if you have a big fucking head, get in the back. And that's what a movie I wish that had subtitles was The Witch. Uh, yeah, I could not understand. I think I'm the only one that didn't have a problem with that. <laughs> so I, I, I went into it. I remember I saw some of the trailer, and I'm like, oh, this looks really good. And I went to go see it, and I was caught off guard. I was still enjoying it for what it was. I, you know, I, I wouldn't highly recommend that movie, but I still enjoyed my time being there. But the theater that I was in, like midway through, everyone just like, gave up on it. They didn't leave the theater. They, they gave up on it where they started talking to each other. And then I was sitting next to this couple that kept talking. So I actually changed seats in the back. Instead of telling them to shut up, I changed seats because it was somewhat of an empty theater. So I went towards the back. And then when I went to the back, the people that were back there were also talking. That's the thing, though. That's a very that's a slow burn movie. It's all about getting invested in the atmosphere, the drama that's going on and stuff. You can't have – if people talk, it ruins the immersion immediately. Oh, yeah. The, the atmosphere that, is that's great. That's a movie, though, where it – the atmosphere is the movie. The atmosphere is the movie, and the the theater gave up on it. Exactly. And the, so the, then, the theater atmosphere was taking see, over the actual atmosphere of the movie. The thing, it sours your opinion of the movie if you have a shitty experience with do it. Do you guys mm-hmm. um, do you find like with scary movies, you find it more annoying to see those in the theater because I, of people that scream too much? I think I'd much rather see a a scary movie over a comedy. If, if really? I had to go on a weekend and choose between a scary or a comedy, I'd probably go. Really? Wow. No, you know what? I'd probably see, go. It's hard because with comedies, that's the if it's a busy theater. Yeah. Let's say you're going during opening weekend. It's a busy theater. It's a laughter adds. It makes the atmosphere fun. Mm-hmm. Laughing is fine. The problem is when people repeat the lines back. So let's say Kevin Hart says. Yeah. Let's say because Kevin Hart loves making goes, fun of his height. I'm too short. Yeah. It's Kevin uh, Hart. He said yeah. he's too short. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. Kevin Hart says he's too and short, and like, the oh, people yeah. are like, oh, oh, he it's said like, he's that oh. short. And then as they're talking over the movie, they're talking over new lines, and you can't even hear the new lines. Yeah. So that's what the worst part about comedy. Then when it comes to scary movies. People are like screaming. You can't. I don't know. It's just. See, I feel like it, action movies are the ones that work perfect in movies. Yeah, I because love, it's all about just oh, like the fun of it. I disagree. Yeah. Really. When it comes to superhero movies and comic book movies, uh, because people will clap and oh, cheer yeah, when they yeah. recognize yeah, something, something from the shit. comics, yeah. and that's so. Oh my annoying. god! Iron Man just entered the scene. He's wearing the shirt from. Oh that my god! Comic. The reference. Uh, the, There's Stan the Lee. I never uh, read. Uh, you know what I miss is a really memorable soundtrack. Like, compare Dark Knight to the original Batman. I will say, at least the Dark Knight had a theme. Uh, it had a good theme. The, the Batman I'll, Against movies had that. a theme song. But I mean, yeah. like... Yeah. Hans so Zimmerman. A lot of them, though, nowadays, you can't hum themes. Oh, yeah. The new Wonder, Wonder Woman movie I had a theme song. I didn't oh, Wonder Woman had a good theme song. But I know the theme song, because it was in uh, Batman v Superman. I know it in my head, but I can't, like... Wonder Woman! <laughs> Wonder Woman! <laughs> Wonder Woman! <laughs> but the one from the movie, it's like... Like, I don't know. I'm yeah, bad at doing it. It's got the guitar. See, you were about to hear the X-Men theme. Yeah, well, I, it's, in my, it's in my head. I can't... No, he was right. It's like a guitar thing. It goes... 
there. And she's fo- like, you hear that noise, and she's foxing it up, looking like a babe. <laughs> Ooh, shit. It was a good movie. I gotta go take a piss. Can I watch? Right. Absolutely. Is this break yeah. time? We can take a break. You wanna take a break? We just got back from a coffee break. Oh, yes. Much needed. Much needed coffee <clears throat> break, but hey, we're back. Burr. Cheers, boys. Burr. To a, uh, a very happy podcast. Hey, yeah, boy. All right, we're oh. live. We're live. I'm wet. That is drenched. Mm-mm. I keep pulling my coffee over the laptop and, like, just about to hit it. Yeah. It's not now, good. I have a topic. Now, something that really, really uh, pisses me off. It grinds your gears. No. I, did. I never said that. Don't let him finish, Jeff. Now, you fuck. Is a. Uh, I got your back. Don't hit me. Sorry. You hit his front though. Ooh. Now, uh, movies nowadays, the marketing drives me nuts. You got all these. They always have to advertise the cinematic universe, and it, it's so oversaturated in the market that you just don't want to see it anymore. That's how I feel. I'm itchy. Like when even just the way they do trailers now, like with that Spider Man movie, everyone said it was great. I haven't even mm-hmm. seen it. It's good. Oh, I recommend How it. did they market it? The poster had Iron Man, oh, yeah. Spider Man. Can't just have Spider Man. That's a have bad Iron poster. Man. Bad movie yeah. posters. Holy shit. Who hires these people to do the movie posters? Oh, in the Photoshop work? Oh my God. Like, is that someone's cousin? Like, you guys, you guys <laughs> know sure how bad cousin. movie uh, posters look. Some of right? them, yeah. Kong Skull Island had a good poster, oh, but good. even that was a homage to an older poster. The Blu-ray cover for Kong Skull Island with the um, the guys holding like the, the f- green flare. The green flare. Yeah. Oh, I like the colors. John C. Riley. Yeah, I love yeah. John C. Riley in that movie. Say, it, it threw me off for a second seeing John C. Riley. I'm like, I can't. Can I take this guy serious? Because he, <laughs> well, he's uses he like still is kind he, of funny. No, he, he was a he's Shakespearean actor. He's uh, yeah. very good. What's, what's that one where um, John C. Riley's on the Check on the wheeler going out. ham? Oh, ham! That ham video is awesome. You watch it and you feel filthy. <laughs> you really do though. Like just the colors, the way everything's like dirty. It's and so dirty. gross. So the video is called Ham, right? It's called Ham. Ham. So just so the listeners and the viewers can find it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Eric Wareheim from Tim and Eric. Oh yeah. Directed a. It's kind of like a music video, I guess. It is a music video. Okay, it's a music video called Ham, where where John C. Riley looks like shit. And uh, that's really all you need to know. Just watch it. Okay. Oh, yeah. You got coffee all over your phone, Joe, by the way. Uh, He's a real coffee. It's not all over the phone. The coffee was trying to get a little sip. I want to touch back on how... Oh, I want to touch something, <laughs> There's a lot too. of things that need to be touched. Want to, want, to take a little, want to take a second break and go touch something? <laughs> uh, I'm not ready to talk about this live. We're not live. I can go back and edit this part out. Right. I'm be the big... <laughs> <laughs> no, but to touch on it again... There should be a death penalty for people that talk and use their phones and have those strobe light flashes during the movie theater. I think you're too harsh. I got an idea. I think it's okay to talk during we, movies. You we convert be as loud all as the chairs in the theaters into electric chairs. Okay, I wanna, Every time you talk, you get zapped. No, I think the only way to avoid the the on talking, and the, yeah, to avoid the unwanted noise is to, if they have speakers on a chair, or if you bring in your own personal headphones and they have like a headphones little input. Would be a good idea. But at the same time, they might factor in like a security risk. You know, they, you know, I don't so, know. If, because if there's like a fire, a fire alarm going off, and you have the headphones on, they can put it through the headsets. Yeah. Though, yeah, that, no, that's they should do that. Maybe yeah. some theaters already have that. They, I don't know, that but might be a thing that's gonna if happen. that was a thing, if I could bring in my own headset and plug it right into my chair, that'd, that'd be, be awesome. Well, that's the thing the you have to bring in your for the movie theater. It's part of the experience. But you can bring in like you can get you like could, sound you can get some, deadening, you, like the Bose. Yeah, you can headphones. get some really good headphones. You know, yeah. you can really. That's the thing though. You'd have to bring your own headset in because you don't want to use. Yeah, it could be like it could be like airlines where they give you you can have some creepy goblin woman. Maybe they could you pay you could pay extra fee and they give you some cheap headphones yeah. but you're probably better off bringing, bringing well, I'm just your own saying, headphones. I wouldn't want to use so yeah that'd be the way to get rid of unwanted noise mm-hmm. but how do you get rid of the phone use how do you block out the phones especially yeah. when the strobe lights flashing in front of you everyone is enveloped by a tent we are cut off <laughs> a from shield the population. a sound shield <laughs> it seems so out there that this is like this is what i really want what i want to talk about but it, it's this is a true this is a serious thing how would thing. you eliminate the people that talk great <laughs> movies like what would be your method how would you kill them Let's not cut corners. Let's get to the topic on hand. How would you kill them? I would wait for the movie to end, but as the movie's playing, I would plot, you know, like how I'm going to do it. So let's say the movie Stop ends. Stop focusing on the movie. Yeah. My, on yeah. The- when someone's talking, my whole focus is going to shift to the people behind me or in front of me, whoever's talking, wherever they are. It's going to happen. You know, so like they might be enjoying the movie for what it is, laughing, having a good time, haha, talking out loud like the assholes they are, ruining the movie. Yeah. And while they're doing that, I'm plotting my whole thing. You know, I'm getting ready. Then when the movie ends, I slowly follow them out to their car. And then, you know, I'll do some, uh, what's that movie with, um, where he plays all the characters? 
Oh, uh, it just came out. Oh, that movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the with um. Yeah, j- uh, shit, j- spliced with um, Mac uh, split, split, split. Yeah, I'd follow him yeah. out like that, you know. But I gotta work on like my my weapons and how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do it. But I'd yeah. follow him out to the car, and but in this world, cause I wouldn't actually you know do this in real life. But in this world, if <laughs> I put, d- put a disclaimer at the bottom, but Steve if I, is not like this. <laughs> but but if I did do it in this fantasy world, right? If I actually okay. followed him out to the car to like get rid of him from wearing to so, actually murder them, yeah, <laughs> the blood would be popcorn. Okay. And the, the bloodier, it be butter? Yeah, the bloodier, the bloodier the death, the more the, the muscles, the popcorn. You stab them, and then you hear. Pop, 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 pop. But in reality, when like when someone's, because there's times where you know, um, let's say you go to rat at someone. So let's say someone's talking during the movie, and you're like, you know, I'm gonna go tell on them. You know, so that when they get somebody on the outside so that works there, they come back in, they shut up because people that are talking, they know they're in the wrong. And when someone's coming in that works at a theater and they're monitor- monitoring the whole theater, they shut up. They know enough to shut up. Yeah. You know, I've never seen someone get like thrown out of a theater for talking ever. That used to be a thing though. But really, also, yeah. they, they sometimes they refund you. Yeah, that's oh, true. If your experience oh, yeah. is really bad, yeah. yeah. No, but there was one at that theater, the dining theater, which is um, like how did because that was your first dining experience, yeah. right? How how did you guys how did you take in that theater like for I was your first time? Going? How well it worked. I was afraid that it would be like really noisy and like you have the people walking in front it. It was as good as that kind of thing can work. I don't think I would go to every movie like it, that. Because and, and, it's super expensive. I know it's 20 thing, bucks yeah. per ticket. And then they at a dining theater, the prices are ramped way up. Yeah. I think a popcorn could be like when 10 bucks. Guys, when you guys say dining, is it like a drive-in? No, you <laughs> sit in a seat like a normal That reclines. Theater, but they oh. have like, yeah, there's like a little table thing that goes over. Yeah, the table folds out in front like of you like, like an air. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like Imagine. It's similar, yeah. It's Imagine the Michigan-based theater, yeah. but AMC, yeah. the dining and theaters, yeah. very similar, but the table folds out in front of you. Oh, yeah. and there's and a waiter yeah, that remember comes you telling me about these. And the, waiter, yeah. and the waiter will come out. They even have a button where you can, like, you want to order more food yeah. during the movie. Yeah. But the thing with that theater is you got to get there early because mm-hmm. I think the previews might be, I think AMC might have 20-minute previews. If you get there when the movie starts and you want to order food, let's say it's your first time going to this theater and you're going through the menu, you're like, oh, I don't know what to get. So when the waiter's talking to you, you're like asking them what's good as the movie's playing. It's a very nice theater, but oh, my yeah. worst my worst movie theater experiences has have come from this theater. I can't imagine, yeah. That's that's the thing. It's like noisy restaurants and movies don't really mix Oh, yeah. Well. It, it's, it's definitely more of a date night, like family night theater. Yeah. But at the same what's time... What's the difference? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but... um. So I just remember I get there a few minutes. I don't I don't order any food, but I order popcorn and a coke. And then right when the movie's starting, I see there's two empty seats next to me. But I saw online that those tickets were purchased. Okay. So I'm just like maybe they're skipping out, or maybe they're gonna walk in late. I'm thinking hopefully they don't come. Then as the the movie starts, they come in. It's a couple. Oh, they came. Oh, they came in all right, and they came in hard. <laughs> but they come in, and I'm thinking okay maybe they won't order anything. No, I'm wrong. They they hit the button, and then the waiter comes. And of course, this isn't a whispering matter because you have to talk over the movie to order. Yeah. And rows behind me or rows in front of me probably can't hear, mm-hmm. but I'm right next to them, so yeah. I can hear everything. And it takes maybe five, ten minutes to put their order. And keep in mind, it's during a movie. Yeah. So my whole focus is like I can't focus on it's the movie. You're divided between yeah. two things. After they order their food, um, that's when I'm like, all right, finally I can I can watch this movie. But that's when it got real bad. And that's but, when she gave birth in the yeah. theater. I yeah. mean, talk about disrupting the movie. No, but after they order their food, it was a Kevin Hart movie. It was a comedy, and almost after every joke. So, for example, like we talked about, Kevin Hart makes a joke about him being small. I'm sure. There was a guy and a girl on a yeah. date, and they would repeat the lines back to each other. So if he wasn't repeating the lines, she was repeating the lines. And then what's weird is when people are talking, they're usually like rows in front of you or rows behind you. They're never right next to you. So it's really weird. I'm like, do I tell them this? Like, how do I do this? They're right next to me. So finally, I, wa- I waited a good, I want to say 25, 30 minutes. Yeah. I-, I gently kind of lean towards them, and I say, shh. And I-, and I lean back. I just lean back, you know, very, you know, lean just. Lean back. I try to do it as nicely as possible without, I mean, there's no, there's no nice way to do it. And a few seconds pass and I just see the guy next to me kind of lean up and he's just like, I'll beat your ass. And then the girl next to him kind of leans up and she's giving me the weird look. She was giving you the fuck me eyes, wasn't she? (laughs) But in that moment, I just felt so weird because they went back to doing their thing after that, like that, that brief moment, that brief interaction of him saying he's going to kick my ass and then staring me down. Then they went back to doing what they were doing, repeating lines, whatever it was. So then I, I hit the um, the button to you know signal the waiter to come what to the table. I, no, both of them were fucking cunts. Whoa! I ordered the waiter to come to the table, and when he came to the table, they're all like, I could just sense they were staring at me in the corner yeah. of my eye, and they probably thought I was gonna be telling on them and ratting them out. But I just closed out my tab and I just left, and I went to the front of the movie theater, got my money back, or got I got a new ticket, ticket yeah. reimbursement or whatever. 
But I just remember, like, I can't. In that moment, that was the end of the dining theater for me. But I, I just, you know, kept my composure, and I, you know, I just went on my way. You know, went on my way because I he he would have beat my ass. I don't want to get my ass beat over a Kevin a Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart, movie. Hart movie. It's not movie. worth it. Was his girlfriend? I think ugly? it was a Kevin Hart movie you with, with showing Will Ferrell. Much, was his girlfriend? You showing ugly? much mm. Kevin Hart. I can't remember. She, she could have been get a babe, hard. but their attitude and their was, energy was at this he movie. Ugly? They could have been the most attractive people in the world, but how they were acting in the movie theater it's made them ugly. so Inside. fucking ugly. Yep. It made them ugly. You could be you could be the most attractive person. Let's say you're on a date. I know you, we all love our dating apps. I'm on my dating app when I'm ever, when I'm going to the bathroom. Let feet. let's say I find the possible woman of my dreams, my future my Describe future her feet real quick. My future second wife. Let's say she's my future second wife. <laughs> Your future ex wife. No, just what second. would I say? You said second wife. Yeah, I'm saving myself for my for my second wife. <laughs> Okay. So let's say I find my future second wife that I'm saving myself for, right? But then let's say we go to the movie theater and she is talking to me. She's like tapping on me, like, "Oh, hey, what's going on?" Like, "Oh, this movie." <laughs> like, let's just say she's distracting, right? Instantly, I, she's not my second wife anymore. Don't they say third wife's the charm? Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Um, second, possibly third wife. If you're if you're listening, if you're watching, if you're out there, please just don't talk to her in the movies, please. Thank you. Advance warning. So I want to I want to share a story. I, I think I've I probably told you this one before. Um, it happened at a movie theater, and no, it, it no, I think it did. <laughs> so <laughs> I love milk duds. I don't eat milk duds that often. Mm-hmm. And I was at the theater once, and you know how sometimes you're in the movies, you kind of lose you kind of lose focus of the movie, and you're just kind of thinking like, just, yeah, the movie's a dud. Yeah, like it's a shitty time. movie, basically. So I'm sitting there thinking to myself. What happens if you're in a theater? Because you think about it, you're in a theater, the lights are off, everybody's focused on the screen. What happens if somebody were to start choking? Like, does somebody like say, "Oh my God, stop the movie, the lights go on"? Someone comes, runs in, like some paramedic comes in. You got, you got to let them die. Yeah, I guess. I was at a private screening of Shrek Seven, and that happened actually. Someone, someone was choking. Yes, and I said, you know what? Fiona is about to get married to this darling Shrek, <laughs> and they are gonna have ogrelings. You know what? I said, the wait is ogre. I'm watching Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I thought it's just one of those like, oh, random thought of the day. What happens if people choke? Not even like two minutes after that thought had popped in my head, I started choking on a milk tut. <laughs> like okay. really bad. And luckily I didn't need CPR, but it was to the point where I had to leave the theater because I could not stop hacking my lungs out. Like what are the, what are the odds of that? It sucks. But it's like I was in a theater – Thinking about it, and all of a sudden it happened. Wait, wait, were you with anybody? That's a good story. I w- yeah, I think it was with my one of my girlfriends at the time. Because one I remember my girlfriend at the time. I love going to movies. Have good feet. I can't remember. I love going to movie theaters alone. I love it. I remember it took me a while to start going to theater alone. So I thought, oh, like what? That's a weird thing to walk into a one theater alone. One day I want to get a private theater. Oh yeah, no. Oh like, yeah. I, did, I was I was looking into theater. um theater Talk about theater seats the recently. Cause you can buy a bunch yeah. of movie theater you can seats that come in a yeah. personal home one. Yeah. When A Mile came out, I forget what theater it was, but I remember it might have been the Imagine before it turned. Was the Imagine where I look a theater before it was an Imagine? I can't remember. It was one some theater out that way. You could actually rent theaters out. Like that was the option yeah. at the. You the still place. can rent theaters out. But I mean, it was like it was like known to public. A lot of people don't realize you can do that. It depends on what theater. If you don't, if you yeah. talk to the management, oh hey, I need a theater this day. Okay, but like it was advertised like rent out a whole theater. We have catering, everything. I rented out a theater to see Norm of the North. Starring Rob Schneider. Oh like, no! Hey, no what? Wait, that so was actually—I thought it was straight to Netflix or straight to stream. It was. Straight I ordered to my heart. it from Netflix. I called him up. I said, "Hey, you know what? I need I you to see stream. This I need you to stream there." <laughs> and I'm, he better have Rob Schneider's it, voice. You know what? Rob Schneider is that a movie. I laugh my damn ass off. <laughs> it is a story it. as heartwarming as it is funny. And he said you actually watch it. Got it. Laughs. Yeah, he did. You, you laugh. You cry. You mostly laugh and cry though. And there's the a, there's. There's a lot to it. Rabs, nice. Hey. <laughs> Continue. I, I like the when the polar bear dances. It's my favorite part. I love going to the movie theater alone, and I know you were against it for a long time. I, yeah, that's I, why I, wanted I to never it understood it. I'm like, why would you want to go alone? And then one day I saw it was Jack Reacher, and you finally just went recently I, alone. I, I, well, yeah, when Jack the second Jack Reacher came out, I think that was this was year it? or late last. Goodbye, year. James Bond. We got Jack Reacher. Yeah, I, I remember. I messaged him as soon as I got out there. I'm like, dude, you messaged. Jack that was Reacher. actually. Cool going alone. Uh, like I got you, up, I wa- I didn't have to worry about like pissing people off. I'm like, whatever. I don't have people with me. I'm just gonna get up and walk around. And there are stuff. times. There are times where when you go alone, there's a very strong chance, depending mm-hmm. on what hour you go, what day you go, you can have the whole theater to yourself. Yeah, it was a matinee that I that caught. There's like two or three people. Jackie Chan in the tuxedo. Oh, Ooh. that's a good one. 
I like the. Uh, I think I was in sixth grade back then. <laughs> that movie sucked like, what, ass. You were sixth grade alone in a movie theater. Yeah. Your mom dropped you off. Someone could have snuck right yeah. in. It's no, it was a school day. movie. Just movie napped you. I could. I could have movie napped you. <laughs> Trust me, he would have. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! But yeah, but, I always thought it was strange. Like, I he, love it. He's I, like, oh, I love going alone. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, when you when you ask me sometimes, that's part of the experience is going with your friends. You know? When you ask me sometimes, I'm like, Jeff, yeah, just though. go alone. Yeah, I'm like, I, I, feel I, like you I can can't do that. Focus I can't do that. more on the movie if you're on your own. Yeah, I, I, but but some of the that's why horror movie movies I always watch alone by myself. I saw John Wick too by myself. I mean, I think the the benefit to being with a friend is to like share your thoughts after the movie ends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially if it's like a really you know out there if movie. It's a lighthearted. Oh well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. If you're watching something as serious as Norman the North, you want to have a friend with you when you get out of the theater to be like, hey, you know that was pretty yeah. crazy when he was dancing Norman, around. <laughs> when that polar bear danced. I thought I was going to lose it. I was going to ask, because, Joe, you always have bad movie nights. I love bad movie nights when you do have them. I dig it. Yet he's never it was, seen was, Manos, Hands of Fate. Was the Polar Bear movie for a bad movie night, or you just watch it on your free time? Um. Well, it was a bad movie night. It was definitely a bad movie Normal night. Normally, watched that and Baby Geniuses 2 Super Babies. <laughs> Why wasn't I invited? Super so Babies. Bad. It was... Uh, I invited you to my podcast. You didn't invite me to that Norm of the North. Oh, you, you always, you always, you always don't. You never want to watch bad movies. I love watching bad movies. You, you couldn't even get through the Resident Evil movies. Those are some of the best. Bad I movies. love bad movies. I can't watch Resident Evil. I know it's nothing. Yeah, to do. I know like I between do. the game and the movie, totally different things. Yeah. But the movies, like yeah, I can't no, get behind I, it. They, you, they're boring as shit. They, yeah, they really. Not, they are. Honestly. No, no, no. Because Alice, you see what she did with, with the motorcycle in the yeah, second movie. It's... <laughs> Awesome! <laughs> it's so cool. You She's, just love you just love how bad it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it. That's why it's bad movie night. Resident Evil. Well, it's the director's wife is the star, so it's oh, all about making her yeah. look as cool as possible, and just comes off as like lacking any self awareness because every cool thing that happens, it just it's, it's awful and it's not fun. cool at all. So it's pretty cool. How about Netflix and how it is affecting movie theaters? Because now you can just stream all these movies. You don't gotta go out to the yeah. theater. There's no movie talking. Exactly. Unless unless mean. someone in your household or one I, of your roommates is talking, then you, you know then you have every right to kill them because yeah. they're in your home. Yeah. And they're talking. They're private invading property. your yeah private I, property. Actually, you're That's, protected by one of the amendments. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I know I can. Anyone in your house is free game. So you were t- you were touching on it earlier. So I'm gonna touch on it again. To highlight so it. So much touching. You brought it up. Thing. I'm gonna highlight it. What's weird? Toes. You're bringing up toes. Your your toes. Uh, your toes were you know, sneaking in. Toe jam. Yeah. What's up with you and toes, Joe? Well, this Joe girl's not messaging Joe. me back, but I, I uh, Tinder girl. You're on Tinder right now? No, is that, well, I have her Snapchat, but I'm asking for. Uh, oh, we got So you got off the the Tinder. Now you're finding your way on the Snapchat. That's good. Well, I I, I start off on Tinder. Do you get your? So did you go from Tinder to the Snapchat or Tinder to the phone number to the Snapchat? What? What were your steps to get the Snapchat? Because it's usually you get the phone number. You never really get the Snapchat. You had to get her fo- number first, I get her right? Phone number and then okay. her Snapchat. That's what I'll, I'm just curious. I'm and trying, I to, still I'm trying to learn. I've seen her feet, so I don't even know if it's worth it. When did you learn you had a fascination with feet? <laughs> was it when, when, when you were. <laughs> was it when. <laughs> when. when uh, I don't know. What, was it when you had a big toe in your mouth? I think he <laughs> saw Cinderella and he said. We don't need. Those I might have slippers. had to do something with the Little Mermaid. Seeing Little Mermaid Ooh, as a kid. Yeah. Let's see. When okay. she gets her. Oh, okay. She grows. She gets her feet. feet. Prince Eric, are you hearing this? I'm hearing this loud and clear. Okay. Speaking of which, I'm. I'm getting. I don't know if I should say. Play by play. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. It's a joke. Like I'm jokingly saying, okay. let me let me see your feet because it's oh, creepy and you? it's creepy. Like, oh, it's not a joke. I know. It's a joke. She doesn't know that though. She thinks I'm joking. <laughs> <Until> she... <laughs> Do you ever think it's a joke? It's it's uh <laughs> shut up. It's it's uh oh she's typing so it's not gonna be a photo. Oh. Don't don't. Well, it could listen, be a photo. She could be taking a photo. Because the worst, like what? Okay, look at this way. I'm looking. Think of it this way. I'm thinking. You're talking to a girl for like weeks. Maybe you start dating her for like a month. You don't see her feet, and then you you, you, you think, you're thinking did you, you get them removed. No no no. You, you spend some time with her and you you start to develop feelings, and, and then you see her feet and you realize wow all those feelings are wasted because those are disgusting feet. <laughs> if you're gonna have feet. Make them nice. People are born with certain feet. Yeah, and if you got bad feet, keep them away from me. Does your future wife have to have nice feet then? Yes, they got toes look, and. I'm, I'm looking for something like Gwen Stefani. She's got a nice pair. <laughs> Gwen Stefani. Uh, ooh, yep. And then there's a uh, Deanne. Does she have banana toes? Barry. What's that one lady from uh, Cloverfield? The second one. Uh Mary Elizabeth <sighs> Winstead. I bet she's got some succulent toes. They're okay. You see, there's a couple foot them. shots in Ten Cloverfield Lane. <gasps> I don't remember that. 
Yeah. Having a foot fetish is very common. It is. That's actually yeah, probably common. Common. No, I'm just That's not like a weird I'm, I'm thing. It's just like I'm fascinated by it. People are like, hey, I like a nice face. It's just, it's like a face. It's just, you know. I think it's, it's funny foot. just because it's something you don't hear people talk about often. Well, it, it is like one of the most feet common creep fetishes, people, but pe- yeah. feet creep people out. And um, most of the time I don't. See I don't why, because they're basically like hands. But they're, your they're yeah. That's actually, I think, a pretty good idea for a possible future video is uh, the girl is not the best looking, but she's a foot model. Mm. That's actually There's been girls That have not been that attractive And they have nice feet And I would say I Got with them anyway But that's not true Because they didn't Want anything to do with me Idea for I watched them from afar That's why summer Is such a good time Summertime Because girls wear flip flops And you can pick and choose Like okay Like that girl's got nice feet Like like, there's no It's like window shopping It's like like window shopping It's good Like you don't have to Have that Anxiety, like, oh, if I start talking to this girl and you don't have to months wait for the build up, see your feet, and then they're not good. What, what am I gonna do? Here, it's the end. You got the answer right there. It's like and I, good feet enhance the face and other features. It's science. Like jump a, the gun, see the feet know. ahead of time. It's funny because there's times where we go out together, and my my eyes are never really looking down at toes. And there's times where we're like, oh, dude, she has nice feet. Look at her feet. Look at her feet. And, uh, and for me, I'm just like, I'm not looking down there. I want to clarify, I'm not a creep. Ladies, if you cross paths with Joe, cover, cover your feet up. Cover them up. Hide your kids, hide your feet. <laughs> hide now, your toes. Here's my idea for a video. There's a woman. She spreads her phalange, and a man <laughs> blows into it, and it, she inflates into a balloon, sequeled up. Oh, my God. Cheers. I, no, I already <laughs> patented it. <laughs> oh, the wall's wow. coming down. Oh, shit. Okay. We've kicked so much You want to wrap it up? The walls oh, no, we can keep tear. going. Wrap it up and the wrapping paper's falling. Just kidding. It's actual real mahogany wood. We got to do like real intros again. No, we do outros now. I don't know. This is I don't even think we got. I don't think we got the intros. Yeah. I think we got a good idea. Well, let's do the intros now. Should we do the intros now? Okay. We're innovating. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. No, I think I think we have well, a. Well, no, it's gonna be different. The table's different. We got different glasses and stuff out, so you can't have a. I, I'll do the intro and outro right here. How about okay. that? Okay. Keep All this right. in front of the outro. Yeah. <laughs> no. So that the, it, like ties back. Put the, the intro at right the right. end, and put the outro nowhere. Let's not have an outro. Not, Let's keep this thing. Outro could be mid, mid, mid podcast. <laughs> hey, I'm Steve Cardinal, and this is the Cardinal's Nest. <laughs> I'm joined here with <laughs> Joe Nash. Hi. The um the Toe Man. <laughs> I'm here with Ty, yeah. the lover of Norm of the North. Don't, don't ever, don't let the cops see me. <laughs> and, and, last but not least, to my right, we have my movie partner. I think that's actually. <laughs> you never said his name. You never said my name. Jeff. It doesn't matter. Movie it partner doesn't matter. A anymore. movie partner speaks volume. Yeah, dude. we are one. It speaks volume. In the theater, that is. That has been the first episode of the Cardinal's Nest podcast. I want to give a huge thank you to CastBox for making this nest happen, being a strong build for the nest. So uh, all the audio for the podcast will be found on CastBox. And the video podcast, I'm recording video for these as well, and those will be on YouTube maybe a day or two days after the audio recording goes live. So, uh, yeah, I think I think that went well. It went very well. Well, thank you guys for coming and get the fuck out. Thank you. Yeah, right. right. whatever. I hope you know I just lost my wife because of you. Get the fuck out of my house. Cops yeah. will never find her ever again. Where is she? What's the What's the update on your uh, on your Tinder? Uh, on your Snapchat? No foot pics yet. Very disappointed. I'm. I, you Drop know, you that got, hole and you get ask a yourself, toe. What do you got to hide? If you're not going to show me your feet, what's going on? Do you not have feet? <laughs>